Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to Ever Crisis. We're going to be talking about the battle ranking. That's Fury, Lightning, and Wind. Uh, give you guys a little heads up of what's happening, what's going on. I'm going to touch up on Leviathan a little bit here. Uh, the main tip here is that just go into your growth stream and activate Leviathan. Bond with him, because if you don't, you're going to have to redo a lot of quests, a lot of stamina things. So get, a, get that out of the way. But we're going to go over how this system works, how does it compare to the last dungeon ranking, and a little bit of tips to help you get that 110 for the uh, ingot, because that's the most important part. So let's jump in and let's talk about this event in general. Now, this is what I was talking about for Leviathan. Come in here, go to summons, and you got to make sure you bind with the summon. If you don't, you're going to miss out on a lot of these quests. So here's Leviathan. Clear the trial normal. If you beat it, you got to go back and beat it again. Consume 500 stamina, 100 stamina. So right away, come in, bind it, and that way you can start leveling that up so you can unlock it. So back to the actual event of the dungeon ranking. Uh, we're going to be talking about how does this all work? Why does it look so complicated? Is it and how hard is this? It's pretty hard if you're trying to activate all of the abilities. And the reason you would do that, the way this works is the old dungeon uh, that we used to have. We had ranking events and then if we cleared all the quests, we got our total points and we got all the rewards and done, right? So the way this works, ranking and rewards are still the exact same way. Based on your best high score in any of the quests, that's how you're going to get your ranking in order to top top 10, top 100, top 300. So if you look at me, I'm placed 34. No matter how many times you clear this quest, that's not going to change. What's going to change it is the maximum score you get in there. I got 63,828 without trying yet. And most I've seen in my lobby is 78,000. So let me show you what gives you that ranking. All right, so just cleared it. Use something rough, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is going to show you what you're looking at in order to prove your score. I'll have a better guide for this later on. And he brought in non-elemental, got a score of 72,825. So how did I do this? Besides having very powerful characters and using a huge boost, they're going to look at things like this. Total damage taken, 20,222. I got an S rank for that. Six, uh, 3,690. 3, the total time you spend in the fight, 6,602. So the faster you kill this, the more score you get. And then one hit max damage. So if one of your biggest hits went through. Mine was 68,000. I got an A rank for that. So there's room for improvement on S rank. And then it takes that total score and adds a score bonus. So the way this event works, instead of walking around, choosing all your buffs, you choose your buffs and debuffs in the beginning, right before you enter the fight. And then you go in there and you fight the one boss. You don't have to run around, figure it out, open a chest. It's very simplified. All the fluff is gone. This is basically what dungeon rankings are, but simplified, like I said. So I ended up getting 72,825 with a score bonus boost of 525, giving me an extra 61,000. Now let's talk about the point system. So you can see my points that I got went towards my total points, which is going to unlock everything behind me. You can see all the rewards are being popped up right now. You do get experience because you're using stamina and you can see I got total points. So how does the next part of the system work is that you're just farming and anybody can clear this. Uh, the stronger you are, the less stamina you have to use in order to do this because you saw if I just repeat that quest over and over and over, I'll get 72,000 using the same party, same strategy, and eventually I'll get up to 1.5 million. But I don't have to farm that much because when you go into the free challenge, there's two dailies you can do every day on both fights. Armored Scorpion, see how I have zero out of one? You automatically get 50,000 no matter what you do. As long as you clear this, you're getting a total 50,000. So easily done. Make sure you do these two dailies. It doesn't matter what uh, negative stuff you put on boost. Just do the best you can to get that and get that bonus 50,000 every day. So the whole thing is farming. This part is farming. Complete the quest over and over and over and over and everybody will get this. So this is more of a stamina sync than it was for the previous uh, dungeon ranking. But it is pretty fair that anyone can get all of this. Where the other dungeon ranking, you had to get that score. If you weren't strong and you couldn't complete the dungeon, you didn't get all the rewards. This allows everyone to get all the rewards, even though it costs energy, which kind of sucks. We do have a lot of energy pots just from logging in. So... 1.5 million, take your time, use all seven day bonuses, and then farm the rest on the last day. Now, the last part of this 
is stage level. So you can see that I've done a completion of stage level 125. I'm going to do 130 later, but if I don't, who cares about that 100 points? Same thing with the other one. The one you're aiming for here is stage level 110, right? It's going to give us five ingots, which is the most valuable thing in the game at the moment because that allows us to get level 120 weapons. If you don't get 115, 120, 125, 130, the most you're missing out on is 300 blue crystals. Who cares? Don't bash your head against the wall over and over and over again to try to get these 300 blue crystals or this icon because we don't really need it that much. 110 is your goal. If you can't hit 110, 100 is your next goal, right? You do want to grab both of these. And the way we do that is that we go in here. I'm using the Wu and Ta Tai because it's a lot easier for me. If you have like a magic water setup, this is really good. If you can lower water defense with Zach's Black Whisker weapon or Kate Sith Megaphone, uh, you can lower the defense on there, making that Scorpion not so hard. But I find these guys very easy. So for me, I'm going to go in. All we got to do is 110. So I'm going to lower a couple things here. So in order to get 110, this is what I did. Stage level 110, you guys can see beside me. Give me the bonus of 450. And the only thing I didn't put on here, enemy physical and magic defense, nothing in this one. And for boss HP, I put that on the second one for 20, taking away that 15 points for double the HP. And this is also going to give you a pretty decent score too. Now you might be saying, well, uh, what do I use? Use your most powerful DPS. Right, bringing that one big heavy hitter. I'm not going to use a non elemental team I just did. What I'm going to show you is a team where I just slapped it together real quick. So here it is. I didn't even put any material on Barrett, even though he has a healing weapon. I didn't bring in the healing. The whole idea was to raise my defense so I don't die or have enough max HP and physical defense on my characters so that they. Uh, survive the hit. So you don't need an assault gun or Matt's new weapon or anyone that raises physical defense up. You just need survivability. So if you can max out your HP to 10,000, add physical defense or whatever that sweet spot is for you to survive that first hit, everything else is a cakewalk. So I'm using my Arcanum character. This is the weakest cloud in the game. It's a day one banner. It gives me lightning potency. I have my Murasami, right? It does 750% where you can see new weapons go up to like 900 to 1000%. And my total on my character right now is 5,248 physical attack with lightning potency on it of level 7. This doesn't matter what you guys use, right? Bring in uh, Yuffie to buff his attack, lower the enemies. Uh, actually, no, they have physical defense down. That's why it's so easy. But the whole idea is to make one big strong DPS. As long as the enemy doesn't resist the element you're using, so you can't bring in anyone that's wind. But as long as they don't do that, this character is technically a non-elemental character. And the more Arcanum, the more uh, potency you have of its element, the more damage you're going to do. So I'm not going to show you non-elemental. This should be copied through anything. If you guys pulled for the limit, limited banners of Glenn, uh, Cloud, Sephiroth, Zack, the Easter Banner, the new Tifa, it doesn't matter. Just bring in your strongest DPS and just do this. It makes it really, really easy. As long as you can survive that initial attack, these guys drop like flies with the current R abilities, or not R abilities, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? The quest, the quest debuffs and buffs for the score bonus. With that combination of level 110, we're going to hit the guy on the left because he's the AoE one. I'm going to switch to Barrett, whose sole purpose here is help us survive that first attack. Even lowering the enemy's physical attack, I think you can do. I can double check that, but yeah. Two fully maxed out defense. He goes in. They hit us. And then I hit the guy on the left because he's the one that does AoE. So just in case there's a survivability issue here. Uh, the whole point of this is that the other guy kills one at a time where he'll kill your entire party. So you can see, just doing tons of damage with my Arcanum Cloud here. And I'm, ig I'm ignoring all the other characters, because they don't matter. And there we go. We beat it really, really quick, just using a level 750, hitting 47,988. Doesn't matter, he's not weak to lightning. A powerful DPS is a powerful DPS no matter what. And obviously you can raise that higher than 110. But that's the dungeon ranking, that's what got me the score of 63,000. 63,000 now goes towards my total. And now we just completed the 110 for the ingot. So if I put in two strong DPSs there instead of just cloud, if you have two Arcanums and they're not as strong as my cloud, but you have two really strong DPS, then they're going to go in there and kill that boss even quicker, right? 
So that whole idea was the third reward system is get stage level done up to level 110 and you're good to go. So this new dungeon ranking is there's no fluff. You don't have to walk around. You don't have to pick and choose depending on which boss you kill first. No enemies in between healing, uh, using any kind of potions. It's just, all right, I'm really good against Armor Scorpion or I'm really good against the Wu and Tai, right? Go in there, change your settings, mix and match, fool around, and then you're good to go. So with you guys, I'm now top 10. Thank you for giving me that luck and watching. Uh, I will bring, be releasing more guides on this to make it maybe more simplified, showing you how to get the max score, because tweaking this is pretty easy. Speed, less damage, and maximum hit. So the strongest hit you can do, the more score you're going to get, and obviously raising that level boost, right? When you choose the quest, raising this. When I, I'm pretty sure I can do 100 and... Uh, what was it? 130? I'm just going to do it when the daily resets. So, that's pretty much it for the dungeon ranking. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any tips you want to leave for the community down below to get all the rewards, hitting that 110, your strategy, it helps out. Uh, so, you can leave it down below for everyone else. Besides that, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll smell you later.